continued to write, try to remake himself to whatever's convenient or politically expedient to serve his ambition. Liz Walters, you have a big job ahead of you. Big Senate race with Senator Sherrod Brown. Thank you so much for your time uh, this evening. Really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's, it's super interesting. I mean, hearing that, hearing the home state perspective on him. I mean, Ohio. We've all we, we're, we've all been in this business long enough that we've seen Ohio go from a very purple state mm -hmm. to a very red state. Sherrod Brown uh, certainly has been the exception. A very popular as home state has, has a good chance, hopefully, mm -hmm. of holding onto his seat. I think the Democrats think that they've they've got a chance that he can hold on to it. Um, but to see J.D. Vance. Ride to the Senate mm -hmm. on the strength of that autobiography that he wrote, the strength of that book that he wrote, and then essentially be Peter Thiel's pet mm -hmm. senator once he got there, to hear the state party chair there say, yeah, he's basically just been working for Silicon Valley mm -hmm. ever since he got here. He hasn't done anything for the people who he wrote this moving book about in terms of his own background. I mean, that's that's very hard to run from. That's, that's going to stick to him, I think. Here's something campaign. that Ohio Senator, now VP candidate, wrote in 2016 when he was uh, comparing uh, Donald Trump to Hitler. He begins this particular piece saying, a few Saturdays ago, my wife and I spent the morning volunteering at a community garden in our San Francisco neighborhood. Uh, and it goes on from there. Now, now if, if that was uh, Kamala Harris's description of how she spent her San Francisco <laughs>